So I would like to open tonight's Georgetown Planning Board meeting, uh, March 14th, 2018. We're third floor conference room. It's about four after seven. Um, minutes, three vouchers, correspondence, two public hearings, planning office, and a couple, several member concerns. Um, at the end of the night. So with that, begin with the minutes of February 28th, 2018. I move to approve the draft meeting, meeting minutes for the February 28th uh, planning board meeting as written. Second. Motion has been made and it's been seconded to approve the minutes of February 28th, 2018. Any discussion? No discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero. Uh, vouchers, there are three. Which includes three vouchers as presented in our packets and as cited on this meeting to you. Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm sorry. I would love to second that if you, if you were to break those out. Sure. I uh, move to approve the voucher to Staples for office supplies in the amount of $130.69. I'll second that. Uh, motion has been made and seconded to approve the Staples voucher in the amount of $130.69. Any discussion? No discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 You just wanted to. You just wanted to break it out. No, no, the next one. Oh, okay. The ah, next one. The, all right. the, the, humor me. I, no, right. There's I, methods of my madness. I, I move to approve the state uh, voucher for Staples in the amount of 52.25. Uh, I'll second that for discussion, Mr. Chairman. Motion has been made and it's been seconded to approve the Staples voucher in the amount of $52.25. Any discussion? Yes, Mr. Chairman, if I could ask. Uh, John? Yeah. Is the 3169 for the Staples black wire mesh um, on this voucher, on this, this invoice, is that the one we just paid in this one? Uh, sure looks like it. I'll check with Andy on that. Okay. Yeah. Same number. Same number. Yeah. Okay. Same number, same price. Same description, black wire mesh, five section, mm -hmm. black wire mesh, five section. Sounds like a double. Yeah. yeah. What is that, a printer that only costs $139? Yeah, the unfortunate thing is it costs about that much in technical assistance to get it running. Oh, <laughs> Wait, you buy the cartridges. Anyway, we already paid that. No. Okay. Well, unless, uh, she, unless she bought two. <laughs> Um, um, that that's possible. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just asking the question. Yeah, yeah, I'll check that. Yeah, yeah. If we have to bring it back, I'll I'll bring it back for the next meeting. Want to hold on that? Well, and and um, so it says the amount of fifty two twenty five, and do, the voucher do, that I'm looking at says fifty three twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Do we do we want to change? Do we want to hold that? Hold yeah. that one out. We'll just hold check that one. Out. Okay, so I'm gonna withdraw the motion on that voucher. You already um, voted on the other one. The other one stands. You That's paid good. for it once. The other one's first, good? The first one is fine. Yeah. Um, so the second motion uh, has been withdrawn. Do we uh, want to? Um, do we want to pay the, the the rest of that bill? The uh, the, <laughs> now you the extended five thirty nine. Do we want to pay the one we're going to return? <laughs> That's what I would like to well, know. The five thirty nine extends out to twenty one fifty six. Why don't we just hold that one and then we'll get clarification. Yeah, I, I think cool. I'd rather cool. just go to the third. Yeah. Make a motion to approve the voucher for the North of Boston Media Group. Legal ads for proposed zoning amendment in the amount of $416.63. Second. Oh, please. Oh, 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 I missed. No, oh, you. Oh, oh, you. Oh, oh, you. Oh, you beat me. Third square. Motion has been made and it's been seconded by Mr. Watts, the Honorable Mr. Watts. Mm -hmm. And uh, any discussion? My only question is when we... Do we have the money in the budget for the, this set aside and everything? For yeah. the, okay, great. No more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Five yes. Okay, moving on to uh, correspondence. There are five items. Uh, one from Newbury, one from Boxford, three from Rowley. Does anyone have any desire to go into any of those? Duly noted, Mr. Chairman. All right. So noted. And then we shall move to uh, public hearings. Uh, the, the first one, which is the zoning amendment for continuous building area. Mr. And Chairman? Yep. If I may, I'd like to 
notice. Make, um, yeah, I can read the notice uh, in accordance with provisions of match. Oh, do I read the notice or do I make a motion to open? I think you the read public the notice first and then we open it. Read it first, then we open? I think read so. It's the first one. Okay. First in accordance with provisions of National Law Chapter 40. A, Section 5, Georgetown Planning Board to hold a public hearing on 14 March 2018 at 7 p.m. in the third floor meeting room, Georgetown Town Hall, 1 Library Street, Georgetown Match, for the purpose of providing information, answering questions, and hearing concerns about a proposal to amend the present definition of continuous building area found in Article 1, General Provisions, Chapter 165-7, Definition of the Word Usage of the Town Zoning Bylaws, as most recently adopted. And with that being said, Mr. Chairman, I will make a motion to... Open the public hearing for said zoning amendment. Second. Motion has been made and it has been seconded again by the Honorable Mr. Watts. Ooh. I feel like you should have worn your robe. I know, <laughs> really. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 John? Um, as we discussed pretty much beginning in the first of the year, or the first planning meeting of the year, um, we found that the existing definition for continuous building area um, was lacking um, substance, you know, clarity of what should be included, what should not be included. And um, Harry pointed out at that discussion that it's um, it, it was defined in the negative and that we really shouldn't um, be defining terms within the zoning ordinance in a negative manner. So. Um, with much review and discussion, this is the um, language that we uh, agreed to previously. And it's up for a public hearing tonight, and hopefully it goes on to become an article for the uh, spring time. All right. Uh, is there anyone from the public that would like to say anything? No? Okay, we're all set should, there. So should, bring should to the we board. read what the definition is? Yeah. Just so that it's in the record? Yes, I think On tape, etc. I think that's a good idea, Harry. Um, you have such a great reading voice, why don't you want to read that? Hey, look, I already did the public notice, buddy. <laughs> Spread the load, huh? We were <laughs> very, load, very load. proud of you, too. You did it. I'm busy signing uh, these vouchers. So the existing definition for continuous building area reads, continuous building area shall not include any freshwater wetland as delineated per Chapter 161, wetlands protection, nor any pond or stream. The proposed amended definition for continuous building area reads, continuous building area, that portion of a lot comprised exclusively of connected upland and consisting of such upland square footage acreage equal to or greater than the minimum lot size requirement for the zoning district in which the lot is situated, said un upland shall exclude any freshwater wetland as delineated per Chapter 161, Wetlands Protection, and any pond or stream. Any discussion from the members with regards to a couple signatures here. Okay, seeing no discussion. Um, Close first or move to approve it first? I think we approve it first. No public comment at all? No public comments. No. I just, I'm looking at John's notes here. I just yeah. switch them? Okay. Uh, I move to approve the proposed amending language of the term continuous building area, Article 1, Section 165 7, definitions and word usage of the zoning ordinance as written, and forward same to the Board of Selectmen for inclusion as a zoning warrant article for the 2018 Springtown meeting. Second, Mr. Chairman. Motion has been made and it's been seconded to approve the proposed amendment language as noted. Uh, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Move to Aye. close the Aye. public hearing on the proposed zoning amendment to amend the existing definition of continuous building area. Second, Mr. Chairman. Motion has been made and it's been seconded to close the public hearing for zoning amendment, continuous building area. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that takes care of that one. John, I'm just going to give you this notebook back. That one's not signed. Oh, okay. The other two are. Thank you. And the zoning amendment uh, for allowing mixed use in the CB zoning district. Motion to have the clerk read the public notice. The honorable clerk. The honorable clerk. Thank you very, very much. <coughs> in accordance with the provisions of um, 
MGL Chapter uh, 40A, Section 5. The Georgetown Planning Board will hold a pu public meeting on 14 March 2018 at 7 p.m. in the third floor meeting room, Georgetown uh, Town Hall, 1 Library Street, Georgetown, Mass., for the purpose of providing information, answering questions, and hearing concerns regarding a proposed amendment to Section 165B, Use Regulation Schedule, Attachment 2, colon 1, Residential Use, by allowing mixed use in the Commercial B Zoning District via a special permit granted by the Town's Planning Board with mixed use providing for residential use above the first floor of commercial retail space. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to open the public hearing on the aforementioned zoning amendment. Second. Motion has been made and it's been seconded to open the public hearing for mixed use in the CB zoning district. The amendment, Chair 2, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 And let's see. Uh, what we have is the um, mixed use. So the term mixed use is provided in the town zoning ordinance as follows. Existing definition of mixed use. Mixed use. A single building containing more than one type of land use where the ground floor or street level use of the building is a commercial use and a residential use is only located above the ground floor or street level of the building. That's what we have for the... Yeah, that's the present uh, definition for mixed use. Um, any discussion, folks? Uh, the implication is that here to four, we, we what did not allow mixed use? Uh, mixed use is only allowed in the uh, CA district, which is the immediate downtown area. Got it. Yeah, and the CB district um, consists of the CVS property and the Crosby's Market post office and the um, service station. And then those properties that abut the south side of uh, Library Street, mm -hmm. heading in an easterly direction. Um, if you're familiar, and I'm sure you are, with the uh, GIS maps, most of that CB district on the uh, easterly side of Central Street, behind the existing commercial properties, residential properties, it's all wet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of the. It's part of that big wetland area that extends all the way up to. Um, um, the transfer station area. Any other discussion? I just um, thinking uh, just quick thoughts that are coming to my mind as you're saying it. For instance, there's a gas station on the corner. Yeah. Would they be able to put an apartment upstairs? Um, in a gas station? Um, Question well, mark. Well, yeah, well, it would be for. <laughs> special permit site plan review planning board so it's not a by right thing um, they would have to meet all the criteria hmm. that would be a hard one to imagine um, the fire could department be a part would of have a, some thoughts yeah, would be a re rehabilitation of the entire site type of thing that could possibly happen in the future and in yeah. back of that is the next abutting property is the, the repair shop yeah. auto repair right so he would have that option as well yeah, and Danvers concrete concrete block. Well, I call it Danvers concrete block. Is it is, is it still called that? Yeah, that plaza. Yeah. I don't know what that plaza is. Town building and supply. Building, building supply. supply. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. the building supply, that whole plaza, mm -hmm. if they chose to put a second floor on, could we'll become apartments. That would make sense. I mean, yeah. yeah, you'd have to come up with parking yeah, and whatnot yeah. then, and all that. Yeah. Sort of. Well, it would be a it would be a special permit. Right? Special permit. I mean, There'd be a whole yeah. complete review. Complete and total review. Essentially, is this a workaround for f the 40 I that we could 40 40 I? Yeah, 40 I that we can never seem to get past. Um, if anything, it was it was agreed somewhere along the line for the CA district to have the mixed use, <laughs> um, and this is a CB district. Um, it's not inconceivable that the CB district uh, could actually be part of the CA district itself. You know, it's not really that much difference um, you know there are immediate residential properties 
beside most of the commercial properties in the downtown area of the CA district, as well as the CB. You know, it's kind of a mixed residential commercial area. So it has to pass muster with the planning board. Um, so yeah. let, me, let me think of another possibility. Um, those, those buildings that do have uh, apartments now are two-story or residential, let's say residential. Yeah. And they want to put a business on the first floor mm -hmm. and leave the top as residential. That could be a possibility? Yeah, yeah. If something's residential now and they, you know, come forward with a site plan and go through the necessary uh, application process, they could... And, and and regarding your question, we put this in when Nick was here because the 40R was voted down. So we were trying to push for mixed use of the CA, and that's how that. So we just put it as our own amendment. Yeah. That's how that happened. Why didn't this be considered as a 40R? Um, it could. You know, one of the um, things that we haven't had a chance to talk about as a board, but I gave you a copy of the um, letter that I wrote um, resulting from our last meeting. Uh, we did receive a $50,000 economic development grant and um, working with the economic development committee, um, and I, I copied everybody here with the letter I wrote right before or at the end of the last meeting and went on to the uh, board of selectmen. And the recommendation is to look at downtown um, and come up with a new master plan and to focus in on zoning, uh, the possibility for sewer slash mm -hmm. septic enhancement, mm -hmm. uh, traffic and parking, um, creating more parking spaces. So that would be um, updating the downtown master plan and that's an economic development grant that was um, um, yeah. offered to the town through the efforts of uh, Senator Tarr. So that recommendation from the Economic Development Committee is uh, before the Board of Selectmen not right now. Ultimately, they'll make the decision on um, how that grant is uh, going to be expended. But there's a strong likelihood that will end up happening, that we're going to focus that money on uh, developing a master plan for downtown. And the zoning is a major part of it. What we're trying to do is to uh, make sure that the downtown in the future it, uh, does have more sustainability uh, more opportunity for uh, residential development as well as um, commercial uh, development. And one of the big restrictions down there, as everybody knows, is that there's no, mm. there's no sewer slash um, septic, septic system uh, capacity down there that would really lend itself for additional restaurants, um, you know, residential um, um, apartments, uh, condominiums, and stuff like that. So it's all in an effort to you know, create uh, a more enhanced uh, economic um, um, development potential in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. so. Ironically, if I may. I th I'm only thinking of questions that may come up at town meeting because that's what, are you going to be there? Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> because that's, that's what's going to be thrown out. Yeah, people have to think about, depending on what board is sitting at what time and where you live, how they're going to vote, you know, and, and to understanding to that they have to come to the hearings, you know. Well, people have a right to. Um, I, 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 I'm only concerned that, and, and I guess it's a moot point now, um, this is a de facto 40R, if you will. Uh, we've already, one of the main impetus of the, of the 40R was to get the grant anyway and it seems as though we have a downtown grant now so uh, might as well get the effect of it yeah. the only problem is that there were some specific guidelines um, especially with respect to preservation of some of the historic properties that would have been incorporated in the 40R um, I guess that this board will just have to make sure that those things are taken care of in the special permit process. Yeah. Agreed. 
And and predominantly the 40R was was to create housing and and to have affordable. So, how is the affordable going to fit into this? Well, yeah. this this is still, I mean, there is no reason why mixed use won't be um, under the same constraints that any other unit created in the town, the um, inclusionary housing bylaw. Uh, someone creates three or more, they will have to provide either an in-lieu payment or, what is it, beyond 0.7, they have to provide the full, the full apartment. One of the apartments is going to have to be affordable. Correct. I think it's a very posi school? positive thing. My, <coughs> my feeling on this. Yeah, the, the Economic Development Committee mm -hmm. um, unanimously supported this as, as a, a, a good ordinance relative to creating more viability of space within the CP. It creates opportunity where there was no opportunity right. to do this actual mixed use and well, the big thing move people that, into the town. Yeah, you know, the big thing is the people that are living there. You know, you're living way up by me. We're not that. We're not going to be that involved with downtown as someone that's living in that area. We're so right. that they're the people that should be paying attention. You know, and and come up and and you know, especially at town meeting. You know, if once this gets in, yeah. and then you object to it, it's going to be very tough to well, convince you, the you board. Object, you object to a project. In the same way that you would object to a project yeah. currently, yeah, I'm sure. So, but so many people don't realize that. <laughs> One thing that I would point out, and um, it's going to sound like I'm I'm beating you up here, John, but um, the RB district is it the RB? CB. Excuse me, the CB district. The CB district. If I just say CB district. Um, I'm not sure anybody, even in this room, with the exception of maybe you, mm -hmm. has a really good handle of what that is. I mean, I really would have, it would be a lot easier tonight if I could see that on the screen, yeah. or if we had handouts for folks. Um, yeah, you give us that last meeting, though. Yeah. 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 I, I, it just, this is the public hearing. Yeah. And I mean, that should be, that should be right up there right now. I mean, we have the technology. Yeah. If you need a laptop, um, I'll make a motion to buy that, a new laptop. No, but you know, I have a laptop, okay. but uh, that's not working. That's, that's not the working. only reason we don't have that. Yeah. That one's working, but. Um, okay, well, that, this yeah. is all part of a public hearing process. Yeah. And I think uh, without ha handouts for everybody and things such as that are something that we can show. I mean, there might be three, four people watching this meeting right now, for all we know. But definitely a town meeting, it should be. Oh, we better have it. Okay. Big, yeah, we better have it big, and we better be showing. I would think, yeah, assuming this yeah. this actually goes to town meeting, and, and I would, an I would strong, <laughs> strongly suggest that if John, you can make it to the selectmen's meeting when they go over all of this. Oh yeah, that's a six o'clock meeting prior to. Their yeah, just to make sure everybody's a little comfortable, a little <laughs> bit more comfortable. Um, there were. Uh, Four members of the uh, board of selectmen at the last economic development committee meeting. Yeah. Um, you know, two as members and two as um, residents. Yeah. Right. You know. I guess I'm not understanding. I, I'm, I'm sensing a lot of concern, and I guess I'm having a hard time understanding because this is allowed on essentially one side of the street, and and not on the other at present. Correct. Um, is my understanding of the way the districts are, are lined? Yeah. East Main Street and West Main. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So to, to me, that's kind of un, just arbitrary. Well, this side, it's okay. That side, it's not. It, that, correcting that is not necessarily something that I would, am terribly concerned with. You'd be surprised. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I'm saying for I'm, me. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take some, somebody else might have a concern about that, but I'm trying to understand why that would be a concern. Right now, at this you, point, I wish we could pull up my map and actually pull up a list of all the folks that are in the CB district, so that we could see how many residential properties you have that are strictly residential versus how many properties right now are uh, already commercial. Uh, as you know, it's always a mixed bag in Georgetown. You may have a CB district, commercial B district, but there's probably going to be a few strictly residential homes there. And 
I just would like those folks to understand that they may be next to a home that may at some point be commercial, even though all their life. And I get it. I get I mean, it. History I don't want is made the by those people that show up. And, Ab- yeah. Absolutely. You know, this is. And when we tried to when we tried to do the forty R, they went down with two votes, and um, those two folks that voted against it, I remember, it was because they simply did not know. They didn't feel informed, and I want to make sure that everybody's informed. I want to make sure that everyone is looking at this with eyes open, and that they don't walk into town meeting surprise, surprise. Oh, that's my lot. So. It would be good if the community, if the economic development besides John got up and spoke. Let these selectmen, if they're so support, supporting this, let them speak. And I think that would be, you know, if the town sees that so many boards are interested in this, you know, it might change their thinking. But let's face it, we've been, me and Harry have been through this many years we know what kind of surprises can come up it's town meeting i mean <laughs> and usually there's a very vigorous um back and forth at town meeting whenever somebody raises their hand yeah um you, you let's be let's be prepared yeah so we we can we have the capacity there and we, so we're so we're talking about two different things now in terms of the presentation of this yeah. versus this yeah, absolutely. So what I'd like to do, I think, at this Get point, down is, is bring it back to this. Absolutely. And, and um, I'd, be, I'd love to do that. You know, see if, if there are any more specifics to this, then otherwise let's move to... Absolutely. The, the only specific that I have is at, um, essentially what we are doing is we are, um, we are going to the use table, the use regulation schedule, and under CB and across from mixed use, we're striking the O... And we are adding, replacing it with a D. Correct. Is that in, in, in this? In the, um, well, That's that wording. Not, we didn't put, you didn't it's put that verbally, in It's verbally expressed there. But the actual mechanics of what the, the warrant article will, would be best to say yep. is uh, under the CB district, across from mixed use, re, to strike the O the letter O, and replace it with the letter D. I kind of think you're talking two different things. Uh, I don't have the intensity use in my hand. I'm talking, I, I, I talking the use regu regulation. Absolutely, schedule. and that is what we are changing. You're going, Whether, you're going to change it? That's what we're changing. I believe that's what we're yeah, changing. No, that's, that's the yes oh, yeah, there. we're putting in the D. Yep. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Out with the O and in with the D. Right. The O is so. <coughs> so I ap I appreciate that, but that that's gonna that's going to confuse the the motion. Um, that actually is what we're going to have to do when the Warren article is written. <coughs> yeah, but you, you, how come we're including <coughs> multifamily? Are you suggesting, Harry, that the way the motion is written is not? I, I'm, see, I'm just, no, 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 I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying that this is putting into words what is actually going to be done, which is just a letter change. Mm -hmm. Correct. I understand that. Mm -hmm. That's the, but, technic but, but that's this the technical is, this is, solution. But this is what the motion is. This is what we're leaving. And this is, yes, this is, yeah, no, no. This is the impact, and that's just the technique. I, I, I know. I'm just so, saying yeah. that let's not get too focused on the technique right now. Okay. So let's, let's. I just wanted to be clear of what I was looking at and what yeah. I know has to happen. Yeah. And that's Thank that's the, the change. I mean, yeah. that's and it, essentially yeah. that's it. Okay. What is? That's my time. I'm yeah. sorry. You are, sir. Sorry. Sorry. I, I'm up speaking. I turn. That makes. Not at all. How many changes? There's two highlighted here. I have no idea what that is. So, oh. um, since no you, yes, you would you introduce yourself? Oh, please? sorry. Yeah. Um, yep. No problem. Come on up sure. and have at it. Uh, Ken File, architect with J.D. LeGrasse and Associates, and uh, that's just my copy of, and I'm here representing the, uh, the owners of the Georgetown, CBS. CBS Georgetown property, and um, that was just my copy. Oh, I and, got and this he, from Bob. Yeah, I just, I just, that, that was my, that was, the, what it became the, it was from the O and D, 
discussion. Yeah. That was that was just mine. All right. Well, that why was, is um, that highlighted? Multi-family. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this is just us. That that's was just true. my internal piece. All right, piece. that's not included. It's mixed use. The O to the D. Yeah, just that. Oh, and multi families is still zero, o, right? Yeah, that's not changed. No, it's not. All right. Nope. Or not proposed. No, not at all. Okay. Nope. So we we have a motion on the table if someone wants to make that motion, oh. unless there's anything more specific about this that people want to discuss. Um, just I, I, public. I just, if I could, I, I just want to... Well, I assume just then you would... We're in support of it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs> yes, there we are in support of the motion that is on the that you guys are discussing. Okay, thank you. And I apologize for uh, actually speaking out of turn for uh, not in the publicness. No problem. John, you want to? If, any, if anybody's interested, this is the uh, map that I gave out to everybody at the last meeting, um, showing the CB district. It's the um, heavy pink. Maybe if you could pass that over here, sure. maybe I could put it here, and that camera might be able to pick it up, John. Just to so that everybody's has a better idea. I don't know how um, I don't think how that well that. that could be grabbed, but that camera probably could. That rear camera probably could grab it. Mm -hmm. And well, it only comes um, to the speed, maybe the, the sound. Uh, I think the, the camera. rear camera could get that. We may not be listening. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll leave it there. <laughs> You try. So looking for. Oh, there, you go. there we go. I mean, that's not going to make a lot of sense yeah, to anybody. It's, else. it's uh, down, really. Yeah, it's tough to see. <laughs> Even if we had some real ground. Gotta get that TV. Right. So, uh, looking for a motion. I move to approve the proposed uh, zoning amendment to Section One Sixty Five Point B Use Regulation Schedule. Attachment 2.1, uh, 2 residential use by allowing mixed use in the commercial B, C, B zoning district. Via a special permit granted by the town's planning board with mixed use providing for residential use above the first floor of commercial slash retail space, C, B zoning district as written, to forward same to the Board of Selectmen for inclusion as a warrant, uh, zoning warrant article for the 2008 spring, 2018 spring town meeting. I second that, Mr. Chairman. Motion has been made and it has been seconded. To approve the proposed the proposed zoning amendment, as previously read into the record. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no, thank you. No, I just, just motion to close the public hearing for um, yeah, he's second. From CBS, right? Yes, so, I'm an architect. Motion has been made. CBS. Representing CBS. Okay. That, that should be in the in the minutes. Yeah, there's no, no secret about that. Yeah. Well, it is uh, so, um, the record for the world, yeah. <laughs> so we have a motion, and it has been seconded to close the public hearing. Uh, any discussion? I just have one little comment about the, there still is, if, if anybody approaches you all, there still is a 100-foot buffer between districts. So if, if you've got the CB here and the residential here, there's a 100-foot buffer between districts that's been on our zoning for yeah. many years. CBS, by the way, has only got 50 by a special vote just addressing CVS. But CVS was for the business, not the apartments. So how is that going to... Well, if they industrial... If I could, if I could. Um, well, how about how about this? Let's close the public hearing for the discussion on what we just passed, and if we want to talk about how we're going to present this or questions like this, let's just bring that to another item so we can get. Take well, this if you will allow it, Chairman, for us to continue talking about it. Well, it's not this going to change. All... It's not going to change the motion that's been made, Tilly. It's not changing. No, it's that. not. So but what I, I'm trying it's just to, a formality. So you what, close I'm, the, what I'm trying to do is just close that. I'm not stifling it. I'm just trying to be more organized. Okay. That's all. So, I move that we close the public hearing. So, a motion has been made and it's been seconded to close the public hearing. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 So, there, yeah, now let's talk about what it is that you want to talk about in relationship to that. Uh, the, CB, the CBS building has a special, that property, I should say, has instead of the 100 foot buffalo, because that house that's right, um, <coughs> I'm trying to think, east, east of it is CBS. 
is residential. Okay. And CVS is commercial. So in order to uh, change the 100-foot buffer requirement right. that's been on our books for many years, uh, they proposed a 50-foot easement instead of 100, and that was so uh, voted at town meeting. But only that lot. So that was a town meeting vote? Yes. For when was was it was, help that me was out, before help me out with CBS the history. the drugstore was built. Okay, was that and that was, was that was so in other words that <clears throat> area was residential at the time and then it went to town meeting right. to change the zoning so that it could be C B. Yeah. With okay. only a fifty, with a 50 foot, foot and that's spelled out okay. in the in the zoning. That should be in the zoning. Yeah. Under C B. But okay. the other other CVSs and the other areas that have that are abutting residential have the still the hundred foot buffer. Okay. So Does any other district with industrial and commercial A and commercial B except for that lot. Okay. That was a special special <laughs> So the C B the C B had a hundred foot anyway and it still does. That doesn't change in any way. No, they originally they had a residential zone. Okay. Okay. And then it was approved to make it CB. It was changed. Gotcha. With, with also that. attached to the change, okay. only a 50-foot buffer on the east side. Okay. Interesting. Between the zones. Interesting. Interesting. And I thought it was spot zoning at the time, but <coughs> it went through and we haven't had an issue. <laughs> But I'm glad you said that because that was the first thing that came to my mind when you were describing it something. Like, that is, and it, just because just we definitionally vote, you know, spot, spot zoning. But. You know, and, and to tell you the truth, if down the line, if there was anybody that wanted to take it to court, I think they had a good shot at it. It doesn't matter. Whatever is voted at town meeting is what we have to work with. But when it gets to the court. They could consider that unreasonable, or it could be considered spot zoning, and not allow it. But that so, was you know, it could be still years ago at this point, right? It could be still questioned, you know. But anyway, as far as we're concerned, that's what we work with with town meeting votes. What I did want to talk about, John, was um, was there anyone else? I'm sorry, that had anything um, with regards to town meeting. Are, are you going to be there? Yes. So we do need to coordinate who's going to, you know, present. be there to present and yeah. what's going to be presented. Yeah. How would you like to handle that as, do you want to put that on an agenda item coming up to talk about, or do you just want to present to the board um, what the plan is uh, in terms of what you're going to, for example, <laughs> what Harry was talking about having that graphic. Yeah, what we ought to do that. is um, the last meeting preceding the uh, town meeting yeah um, we can have an, uh, an agenda item to go over, to go over all it. of the ordinances and how they're going to be presented okay yeah okay so you'll put that on your to do list to you know it, it, I went over a lot of this um, with attorney Eichmann and uh, my previous position you would um, forward the ordinance itself to uh, town council for the drafting the final drafting of the article. And um, this town, I found out this afternoon, it's um, handled internally, the uh, drafting of the Warren articles, um, which, you know, it's say it's fine, but, you know, you really want an, um, a legal eye on this stuff. I think, I, I, think, you know, I think town council it, does review. It is certainly drafted. reviewed. They, yes. they, they sign off on it. No. No? No. That's a change. Really? That's what I was told. Well, then send it to him now before he goes. I mean, I mean typically what, what happens is... <laughs> no, that, I, this you know, is the plan, news to me. Well, yeah. it, was, it was news to me, too, because yeah. um, I'm like, really? But you know. They review them for four. S something, no. Something, no. Something, does, no. something doesn't make sense here because it just seems nope. like... Well... This is, what, this is what happens. The ordinances are drafted, and we hold the public hearing. And we also... And, I, and I'm, now I know it's me, uh, works on the draft of the Warren article itself. And, um, you know, 
only if the town specifically requests the review edification of town council. It doesn't go to town council for his uh, review edification in the okay. final drafting of okay. the Warren article. Okay. We're on our own is what I'm saying. Okay, so punchline to that, I would like, and I'm only one member, but I would certainly like town council to take a look at what we are putting on the floor. I agree to that. Yep. So can, but can, you, can you coordinate that? Yes, and, 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 and the important <coughs> part of it is, is that um, with these Warren articles, you want them abridged to a point where, you know, they're not volumes of oh, literature. Right. Oh, right. You know, but, you know, they get to the point and they're reasonable in their length so people can, you know, they're easy comfortably reading. vote yay or nay on something right. they're, without they're, having to sit there and, and read something for a half hour. Agreed. You know, most of this stuff Agreed. we're dealing with, if it's an 11-page ordinance, I mean, really, Agreed. for a Warren article, that has to be reduced to a couple of sentences. Agreed. Yeah. So, 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 Preferably. So you're... So you're Final draft, mm. if there is such a thing, yeah. would go to John Eichmann for his just making sure that it holds up to yeah. muster. That, that's what I'll work with Mike and if they need the Board of Selectmen to weigh in on it. That's really what should happen. Um, you know, okay. we, we shouldn't be dealing with these things internally no. without the legal expertise of. You know, not, not for this stuff. Yeah. No, no, no. There's too much at Absolutely stake. Not. Yeah, yeah I, I totally agree. So if you come into any roadblocks with that, please bring it to our attention yeah. immediately. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's money well spent. Yeah, well spent. Yeah. Keeping in mind that with the revisions to the OSRD, that's going to be lengthy. Um, with, uh, with respect to the bylaw for medical marijuana, uh, excuse me, for non medicinally prescribed marijuana, that's going to be lengthy. Um, well, uh, these are lengthy <laughs> documents that we're adopting and we're changing. Yeah, that's so, an evolving subject as we speak. I don't know if we're yeah. going to bother well, talking about that. We, we might get to that. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So that, that just takes care of, wraps up, that, that we're going to be prepared, um, I think, going into that meeting, town annual town meeting with the right documents. Okay. Um, so... Uh, Okay, moving on. Um, let's see. That takes care of the two public hearings. Planning Good office. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Thank you folks um, had had that letter in there, and hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at it. And <coughs> and for anyone in the audience or for anyone watching, this is uh, under planning office correspondence regard to Georgetown Roadway LED lighting, and. Without reading this letter in its entirety, uh, basically, this letter is a summary uh, of the meeting, the tri meeting that the light department, the selectmen, and the planning board had, and what we agreed to, um, what was uh, discussed at that meeting, but not clearly resolved. And so then this letter is trying to close that loop and resolve those last two issues. So did anybody have any questions about it? Did anybody have any concerns about it? No, I think it's pretty basic. In fact, it, in the, the electric bill, there was a pamphlet in there about it. Not our letter, but about LED lighting. Uh-oh, what did it say? Basically, it said that they residential that they put 3,000. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. 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 That was, that's about... Yeah. You know, that's good. That's so good. check your electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> My only, um, which has to be paid by the 15th, which is what, tomorrow? <laughs> My only comment was on number three. Yeah. Once identified, replace all 4,000K land and style fixtures that are inconsistent with existing sodium vapor. Yeah. That's, um, it's just a very finite, it's very um, specific, specific, I guess. Maybe there's some that don't need to be replaced. Maybe you know what I mean. So once identified, uh, discussion regarding replacing or well, what or the, what the point was of of that one, Matt, was that the um, the existing neighborhoods that have uh, the old sodium vapor mm -hmm. yellow uh, lanterns. Yep. Some of those were replaced with the new three thousand K bright white okay. lanterns. And three thousand. So three thousand. Okay. So you'll have in the middle of an entire development 
all these nice yellow soft ones and then this one bright white one that's the four. And so what I'm saying is that... Well, so you, you've now used two different... So is, I'm sorry. Three or four? Four. Oh, fours, four. not threes. Fours. No, I apologize, four. Okay. Yeah. And so this is saying wherever those have gone in, yep. the fours come out to A, be consistent yep. with what's existing, plus to get it down to the 3,000 or less for the health issue. Okay. Mm. Just my reading of that, that could have, that could be a little clearer in that sentence. Okay. Uh, once identified, so for example, once identified, replace all 4,000 K lantern style fixtures to 3,000 K or less fixtures. Once I, 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 don't, I don't think that meets what you're saying there. Okay. It, it is, is, can, can we back up just for a second? Yeah. My understanding, and forgive me if I'm not informed, there have been some 4,000s installed. Correct. 4,000. In okay. residential. Correct. There's some, there were some uh, subdivisions that had 4,000 LED lanterns throughout the entire development. Okay. We're not going into those and redoing all of those because they are consistent. Um, and they are what they are. Now, if the selectmen want to go in and change all of those, that's that's a biggie. It sounds like we are. For any, let's see, it, that's not the intent, Harry. Once identified, replace all 4,000 K that are inconsistent with existing. Okay, so that's, that needs to be clarified. That's not what the intent was. The intent was to replace the 4,000 that are inconsistent with the surrounding existing ones. Okay, because I, I, I'm saying it's not consistent. It, well, it's not five. Number five says replace all 400, four, four Ks with um, those are the, the overhead existing poles. residential. Those are the overhead poles, though. The number five is the overhead poles. That's a different fixture altogether. Okay. Versus the lantern style. Versus the lantern. There's two fixture types. I so. The takeaway is you, you, you do suggest replacing all 4,000s with 3,000s in residentials, or there are some 4,000 in residential that you'd be okay leaving? Well, that's a great... Um, I guess the way I wrote this was that it was asking a lot to go back and on the lanterns that are 4,000, and the issue with those that I, I guess I was accepting was they're not pole mounted, they're not way up high, they're not flashing into your houses because they're lanterns and they're only eight or 10 feet high. Okay. So they're, they're much lower. So they're not impacting the homes. So it was those two combined that live with those. That's what I think I have out in my front of my house. As you know, my house is quite a distance from the street. Yeah. But I noticed they changed the lighting because at night, instead of being right down in front, it's it's a hundred, I would say 200 feet it covers. There's those, no? Those, <laughs> I, well, those are the new 3,000 K. Their cutoffs are terrible, but that that horse is out of the gate and running. Those, uh, those are the new 3,000 K. It's different. That meet the, it's, it's very different, very different. Yeah. Um, but that, that was part of the grant that, you know, that, that like I say, that horse was out of the gate, and it was just making sure that those were going to be the um, the three thousand K, which is a little bit of a yellow issue. But I, the, the I glare just wondered, issue is, yeah, is not because good. my house is further back, but the the house this is right in front of. He's yeah. he's only got like thirty or forty foot frontage. Yeah. Depth that is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's this pole. Yeah. I mean, he, I don't know so how he feels about it. Well, they can get shields on them. Yeah. They can get house side shields to take care of that issue. And, but people don't know that. That's it. People don't know that. Is that something that should be brought up in the plan, um, the, the, the town-wide town -wide lighting master plan? Could be, Harry. Because it, it, out Could of be. all of this, um, I think that's the one clear point that I think we should get to them, to, the, to recommend to the selectmen, mm. that that plan should, we should have a plan like that. Because that way, now you can take out, if there does seem to be an inconsistency or a little bit of confusion about what it is we're trying to achieve, that's where it gets clarified. I, I think so. I, I think the, the plan and the way I think this was written was that 
the plan will be approved first before anything new happens, anything additional happens, and that plan would have, that would be a great place to have that in it. I, I, that would be a great place to have that in it. Yeah, I, I, my concern is that as well as you try to um, make this fair and, and equitable, it, it, it could be misconstrued that saying um, replace all 4,000 4, Ks um, adjacent to any home with three K fixtures. Um, oh, the right, home's going to be adjacent to the next one, so I change the 3,000, and now I need to change the four. And so now the, that four has to come out with the three, and now the one next to it. Yeah. So I, and it's so it's sounding like so so basically number three yeah. what Matt you would so you, I, yeah. I would just get rid of that last sentence okay and get rid of and, and and just move number five or get rid of number five and and say make a statement saying no, five is legit five well, is so I, I'm five not, is the I, old I, I let me just okay I'm sorry spell this out yeah say something to, uh, um. Uh, Consistent with the, some, you know, just speaking, thinking out loud here. Consistent with the new plan, um, or pursuant to the new plan, replace all 4,000 K uh, within residential neighborhoods with 3,000 or K or less uh, lighting. So whether so whether it's pole mounted or or lantern style doesn't matter. If it's 4,000 in a residential area, it needs to go down to three 3,000. Consistent with the plan. This is only a recommendation. I understand. And I and to my mind, I would leave it like it is and. Okay. And, and I'm sure the manager of the electric department will tell us, and he'll come to, you know, when we, once we have this so meeting with the selectmen, he'll, he'll probably go through one, two, three, and four, and five, and, and tell us he can't do this, or he can't do that, or he can't do this. So I would just leave it. I mean, how many times are we going to compose this letter? I think the only I thing do. that concerns, <laughs> the one thing besides the health of the, of the residents to me, that's what I wanted to talk about. But the other is that basically, as far as our regs, our subdivision regs, you know, are we in step with what he's doing, or should we be? That's my question. The, the, this, what do you mean with the subdivision regs? I mean, we have a whole section on lighting. Are we mm -hmm. in, in step with the 3,000? Are we tell no, advising? that 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 ordinance is outdated. I mean, that ordinance where it's updated and still legitimate is it speaks to cutoffs, mm -hmm. and it speaks to uh, distribution. Um, but it never it was written before the LEDs came out. Like so, it does not address LEDs, which are which are a different animal. But and Rob, isn't this isn't this plan the 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 base that you would use to Modify those regulations. Well, it would it, it would be part of it. Yeah, it would be part of it. That, that's yeah. how I'm seeing it. You create the mm -hmm. plan, now figure out a way so that you modify your regulations with need mod modification, modify them inconsistent in a consistent way with that plan. But I see your I point, mean, though, Rob. You're saying the plan is great and we we need to get there, okay. but. We need to stop with these four four thousand Ks right now. As of today, because right, right now, if a, if if one goes out in in a, let's say um, uh, any any subdivision that has those yellow ones, if one of those goes out, it's replaced with the the only ones that they have that they're using, which are the four thousand K lanterns. Oh. That's all they have. That's all they use to replace any of the old ones. And what oh. I'm saying is, let's stop that now. Get a new fixture to. What's that going to cost? They're the same price as the fixtures they have now, just a different one. They just have to find a different fixture. That's all. Do they have a bunch of four thousands in stock? They, oh, what they have, know, what right? they have in stock, I have no okay. idea. Okay. No and idea. this is all part and of the discussion. All, yeah, and that's yeah. that's that's, that's a challenge. Yeah, that's this is the, the discussion that needs to be. Uh, yeah. I, I'm happy. I'll, I'll happily go along with the letter as was written. You know those those. Two, I think, could be worth well, a little bit dialogue. more. But. So, would you repeat what you said before? Because there was something about it that did catch my attention. How sure. simple it was. Replace all 4,000 K uh, uh, lights within residential areas, residential neighborhoods, with 3,000 K fixtures. So, what that says, when it's if it were written like that, is that saying for subdivisions that just happened, that have just been. Uh, 
um, installed with the 4000K lanterns, and they're brand new, and there's a whole bunch of them. Those would all get replaced. But if that's a health, safety and welfare issue. Well, this is, so this is where this is where I'm getting with with the, the health issue for those. I'm not as concerned about because they're lanterns and they're low to the ground. They're they're at ten feet or so off the ground, and they only light an area that is X. The ones where that practical, are, huh? Replace all four thousand K with three thousand K where practical. Well, you can take then them back, can't you? Then it's, I mean, can't you return them? Then it's subjective, and I'm trying just, not it, to be practical. In, in accordance with said plan. It's Let's, all about the plan. Yeah, but the plan, we, we need something now. The plan is going to take months to develop. Well, number two would stay. Start installing 14. Correct. Yeah, I mean, they would. So that would stay. Everything would stay except for the second line, the last line of number three. And, and number five would, would, would be replaced by, uh, replace all 4,000K um, LEDs with 3,000K fixtures within residential areas. I just want to use the new lantern style fixture above. In accordance with the plan. 4,000K lights. Replace all 4,000K lights, what? LEDs with 3,000K uh, fixtures within residential Neighborhoods. And then that's in accordance the plan, with the plan. In accordance with the plan, and that's the future yep. that we're yep. working yep. towards. Yep. Okay. Got our not so much. Okay. This is what we think. I, I like that. How it should be. I think it's so. More it, like so so we should develop. So, so I can try to wrap it. this one up. Um, Letter as is, number three, I'm going to strike the last sentence. I'm going to strike once identified, replace. That's going to be struck. And then um, number five is going to be replaced with replace all 4,000K LEDs with 3,000K or less within residential areas according to in accordance with the plan or exactly yep mm -hmm. okay if you guys are okay with that what i'd like to do is just make that change trust me that i make that change the way i just said and then i'm going to send this letter off to I, i'd like i'd like to make a motion it. to uh, <laughs> have rob send the letter and he'll the file it the circular file <laughs> thank you second okay motion has been made it's been seconded to uh authorize the chair to revise the letter as identified in tonight's meeting and send along to the chairman of the selectmen uh, any discussion no more discussion all in favor Aye. 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 thank you um harry i think you sorry had i got something. pedantic on some other language no that, that was I good no no that's good correction that was good, good. That was, I, seriously that was that was good that help, that's helpful yeah thank you what's what's well, a challenge in that stuff is when you spend when you write something so many times in the draft and draft and then <laughs> you think you've got you it you can't read your own you writing <laughs> you can't do oh, it but, but yeah. no, you, you know what i have to do i have to print it out take it put it somewhere i did that two did days that. later come back and i, I will edit it again. i I did that. Oh my God. All right, yeah, well, I <laughs> so can't. Yeah, well, like so, anyways, to... you had something you wanted to talk about. I, if I may, if, if uh, my apologies to the board for not having a copy of this, but um, I received an email from a gentleman uh, whose son is an Eagle Scout, uh, uh, trying to be an Eagle Scout. He's got an Eagle Scout project for the Boy Scouts. Um, he says that he already has water department approval for this. Uh, the project is to geolocate, G GIS coordinates, um, all the fire hydrants in town and provide that data to the Georgetown Water Department and the Georgetown Fire Department so they can plug it into their GPS systems. That's pretty great. I thought they great. had that. Um, we brought that up so many, way back when we first got GIS. Uh, I don't believe we have a layer on my map that shows exclusively. Where the fire the, hydrants? No. Is the fire department the same they don't have it? Um, it seems as though really? this is a layer that they are in desire of. Okay. And we can look into that further. Um, he's basically asking that he says we know, you know, he knows we use GIS. Do we have control of it? Um, he wants to do this as his uh, Eagle Scout project. And, Wonderful. And uh, I'd like to encourage him. Uh, I'd like to Good help him, him move forward. Uh, the only problem <laughs> is uh, from my experience when... Um, 
times when we were tra uh, doing trail mapping. Remember the trail mapping projects? Yeah. Countless times we've gone out, we've mapped trails, we had a G GPS, we did the tracks. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, we had data that uh, Merrimack Valley uh, GIS department could not use because of a format issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm asking you about this now for naturally for your approval and your encouragement to the young man, as well as um, an authorization to use some of our LTA hours, if we have some, to coordinate between this gentleman and uh, the GIS Department of Merrimack Valley Planning Commission so that he, so that this Boy Scout is collecting the data in the correct format so that that communication happens before he goes out and geo geolocates 550 hydrants in the town only to come back and find out that the data he's collected is not usable in the format that it's been collected. I think that's a great idea. Can we, though, limit the amount of hours just so that it's not open-ended and absolutely. they end up yeah. doing something else that we're not even... So. Can, can, I, I absolutely agree, yeah. and, and happily we'll vote yeah. to approve that. Yeah. But you would think that they would give us the information about what, how they want their data so that they can enter it into, mm. their, into their system. Or is that not well, accurate? Well, they're going to be creating a layer, and uh, a layer out of the air uh, isn't really part of what they normally do. I think it was just so, the beginning stages yeah, of it well, starting yeah. to operate. Okay. I'm sure so that this makes is, sense. Right. And I, I, I mean, don't, I don't think it's very complicated, and there, there shouldn't be no Gerard's much. Gerard's phenomenal. Yeah, like so. that, his whole department is phenomenal. I just, I just can, am can surprised I, that the fire hours? department doesn't have that. Two hours. Two hours. Two, one. three hours. <laughs> one, one yeah, hours. One, one should be plenty. Yeah. Besides, I'll go, two, I'll go two. I'm not going three. Besides the location, too, is he going to um, look into what the condition is, whether operable or not? Oh, I don't know that, but you could certainly. Um, that, that would be certainly be something. What, you know, if they get a fire, get a firefighter to go along with them, and that would be ideal. You know, the fire department checked it. Mm -hmm. I well, I'm sure they didn't realize that. there were inoperable fire hydrants. No, I, I, I'm not saying that, but, oh, okay. you know, right. they don't even know where the locations are. Um, it would be nice to also know where the locations are and whether they're... Uh, sure. You know what else? Uh, speaking of fire... Oh, excuse me. Go ahead. No, no. Fire hydrant. I, I just recently paid my home insurance. Hmm? And they have the fire hydrant down... Distance. Less than 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet. feet. Now, there's a lot of fire hydrants that are right back in front of the place. And and all I got from my agent downtown was when I questioned it, I said, oh, he said, everybody's got that. And I'm wondering why. I mean, my hydrant is a lot closer than 1,000 feet. All these new developments, there's a lot closer. To, I said, the planning board says 200 feet. You know. <laughs> Do you ever notice that on your, and I'm sure we're Mine's paying 400. for that. Mine's 400 on my insurance. On your insurance? 400. 400? 400? Yeah. I'm glad to know we have one on George Street. <laughs> on there. Okay, I got that hand. out of the way. No, we need you. <laughs> so I, the I, pond. I, I think. Um, What's the insurance that you got? <laughs> I don't think we need any uh, That's my formal, uh, just an informal support of the board. <laughs> yeah. Yes, totally uh, fine. How about if a couple if hours? I'm, I'm basically going to ask fine. Gerard what he thinks, and if it's you know beyond yeah. two hours, yeah. which I don't think it will be. I'd be surprised. You know, if it is. I would be too. Yeah. But if it's beyond that, then I'll come back. Okay. You know, but other than that, I'd like a green light to. Yeah. All all yeah, it needs to be done or, though is just to find out what software works. Yeah. It's absolutely. Not, yeah, yeah. It's just going to be an interaction. It's just a question. Them. It should it should be something that you could do in probably 15 minutes from Gerard's point of view. That's why I was saying for me one hour max two yeah, once he gets the data yeah what does an hour go for just out of curiosity i have no idea it's question. an lta hour it's, it goes for nothing oh yeah we have 35 of them every year okay. it costs yeah. us nothing and we get them yeah. yeah yeah it's part of the package yeah so, i was wondering because i know that with eagle scout projects usually there's a fundraising component of it that they need to complete so oh i'm not familiar um, maybe we should hand this to you you seem <laughs> So what else is the community so, um, economic development? Yeah, doing? so so um, so there there are oh, two uh, there were there was two other items um, that I wanted to just mention, which was um, there's Olson uh, that 40B uh, project, and this is just for everybody's.
kind of FYI, but uh, the uh, drawings from the applicant need to be in in a perfect world today, the revised drawings, and then that gives Larry uh, seven days to do his review of those drawings of the changed uh, project, and that gets it back to us by the 21st, uh, which is in our packet then for our meeting on the 28th. Now clearly it's the 14th and nothing has shown up and we were trying, everybody's trying to work and help them out and you know, they, they sent that sketch and then, um, you know, talked with Larry and blah, blah, blah and thumbs up on this two way, go ahead, go, you're going to get a general okay with the idea but you still got things to work out. So they had that information, um, don't know when those drawings are going to happen. Uh, when they'll be turned in, but that's just kind of an FYI of where that is and where it's going. Um, and the last item that I just wanted to mention was there will be at some point in time coming up a joint meeting that, that John will schedule with the selectmen uh, for us to get together on the um, medical marijuana uh, bylaw. And there uh, was an article in today's, this morning's Globe uh, about the status uh, in the in metro section, yeah. about the status of the commission's findings and or their proposed regulations, and it was pretty clear to me that um, you know if we start with the medical bylaws and tweak them, we, we we've got a solid foundation and. I'm just concerned that we're, we're going to miss the mark for a town meeting. Uh, no. Um, so can I correct you on that one? Um, I did talk with um, Attorney Eichmann today mm -hmm. for about 40 minutes on this subject matter, mm -hmm. and I dished off a, um, an email right before this meeting, and I copied Rob and the selectmen and uh, Mike and Attorney uh, <coughs> Eichmann. Uh, what it boils down to, that 11-page document that I gave everybody at the last meeting, you can toss that in the trash. Um, there's a much simpler way of uh, making sure that we're going to cover the bases that we need to cover relative to protecting the town and the retail sale of mm -hmm. adult non-medical marijuana. Um, Rowley did read through your packet. He's modifying those already. Uh, right, they're modifying it, and, it, and it's a simple paragraph. Um, what we'll be able to do, and I talked to him extensively on this, is within two short paragraphs and maybe um, an aside paragraph, maybe three, uh, take care of the issues that need to be taken care of to properly amend our zoning ordinance. So it's not a long, you know, 11 page document that we have to worry about. And it does fall on the premise that we already have a medical marijuana um, overlay district defined. We have an extensive uh, medical marijuana ordinance. So there's only references that have to be made relative to amending the language we already have to accommodate what we need to for retail sales. Um, one of the issues, um, and we've talked about this before, limiting uh, the number. And um, it isn't a matter that the town um, should be trying to do that because it's not statutorily supported and it, and it would never be it's, it's you know as you pointed out you know that you're creating a monopoly for one mm -hmm. particular company or entity and no one has the authority in any governmental body whether it's local state or federal to create uh, a monopoly um, especially in this particular subject matter so what is being prescribed by town council is that within the overlay district via the issuance of a special permit and site plan approval by the planning board uh, would somebody uh, be able to apply for a um, non-medical marijuana uh, sales facility um, so it's a stringent check and balance process that would be put in place but rather than limiting to one specific site and one specific company, um, which would be technically illegal, correct? 
that you uh, ready yeah, to you allow that. for yeah you allow for a procedure and a process and a location and that would be within the existing medical marijuana overlay district minus and this is what's being discussed is minus the downtown area which right now allows for uh, medical marijuana facilities there's a small pocket of the downtown area that is being proposed for elimination and uh, attorney Eichmann has sanctioned that and that can be uh, part of the ordinance that the uh, town votes on at town meeting and that the planning board holds a public hearing on and what we're trying to do is have everything ready to go for a public hearing <coughs> April 11th that will be the last opportunity we have to have a public hearing um, for the Springtown meeting um, and that would keep us outside of that 21 day um, period where we would have to write a written report regarding our actions um, with this ordinance if we're outside of the 21 day period uh, we would be giving a, ver a verbal presentation at town meeting and whatever handouts we decide to hand out regarding the, the language of the ordinance. When do we get drafts? Um, you, you'll be getting drafts. I, I would say at this point in time, end of next week, the, the plan is I'm going to draft this and send it off to Attorney Eichmann. Um, he's going to make any edits that need to be made and forward it to the Board of Selectmen for their review. Um, and to see if there's a consensus of the Board of Selectmen. Now, by law, they are to forward um, the proposed ordinance to the Planning Board um, for conducting the public hearing. And that's what we'll be doing on uh, April 11th, and that's sufficient time relative to the, uh, the uh, town meeting, spring so, town meeting. And it would be for us to make a recommendation yeah. back to the Selectmen, just as with these amendments. So, so um so the the selectmen um I, I i think the selectmen have uh concerns about more than one facility and i need to be careful you know i don't want to speak for them so I'm trying to qualify at all in that regard um uh, but but i that, that's my understanding and that um downtown we would be addressing where it happens uh, by pulling it out of downtown and having it just in the overlay district, which is out um, in the uh, I-95 corridor in the vicinity of uh, Exit National 50. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so that but it's an existing we would be doing that, but we won't, we wouldn't be in this ordinance saying that you can only do one. Healthy Farms has the first option by right to this retail establishment, and chances are they're going to say yes and take that. Um, and that won't preclude that, that a second one could come in um, because my understanding is that legally you, you, you can't do that. Um, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that was coming from John Eichmann. John was saying it's a weak legal argument. You, you don't have a lot of legs to try to just say there's only one establishment happening. The, yeah, the, the law, it, people have an assumption because of certain language within the law itself that um, a community can limit, now I'm just saying that a community can limit uh, to 20% of the total number of package store liquor licenses. This town this has three. This is where three. this number one is coming from. Right. This town has three package store liquor licenses assigned to it, and there are three. 20% mm -hmm. um, of that would be one, in, but... The way the law actually, the language of the law actually provides for it is that a community cannot provide for less than 20%. So cannot go below 20%, but you cannot limit it. You can't go below one. Yeah, you, you can't limit it to one or, or two so or whatever. So there's a misunderstanding just, perhaps with some people in terms of how they're interpreting yeah. that. And so... That's just where the, the goal is to have this discussion eventually with the selectmen, where there's communication between us and them. And, 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 uh, and I read the law and on the computer, and what I got out of it was it, it wasn't just package stores. It was anyone with a liquor license. Anyone. You know, yeah, so you, we have like five. That part of the law, 
um, was not written, you know, in a, in a proper f formula well, type of basis. Only, um, you know, that's the just, only thing we can go on. That wouldn't that? hold up. That wouldn't hold up. No, right. That wouldn't hold and, up. And that's that's what Attorney Eichmann is saying is that 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 part of that that language of the law would be contested. Can at we, we, we get three percent. We have the right to ask for three percent of the retail sales. I know. I know. Why would we want to? We might be able to limit it to zero. Why would we want to? Well, Mike, there's, Mike, there's, there's resources available. There's tax revenue yeah, available to yeah. the town that we would just be. That some other I town is going to collapse. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They're going to jump all over it. I, I say, I, great. I think. I don't understand why we're <laughs> limiting and removing a section. I think there's. I think there are some people that that. Uh, have concerns with with um, that and how it may impact the uh, impression of what people think of this town. And, uh, and, and it's just, uh, it's just, a, yeah. diff it's okay. just a difference yeah. of opinion. It's just a difference of opinion. Yeah. Yeah, or how people right. think. Right. Um, I think that's where that's coming The overlay from. district, though, it, for this would be basically National Way. Mm -hmm. mm. wh where, I mean, I'm looking at the map. What about all the farms? Why wouldn't every farm be part of the district? Because it's well, be, the, oh, okay. That's not where our district is right now. The overlay district no. doesn't go out there. No. But it's basically. But this is in, another in all, district. This is a recreational district. Because of the residents that are so close. Well, Three hundred feet. Buffer. Three hundred feet is a lot. Well, then it might the, limit it. But the, the farms wouldn't be. S We've already doing retail of the. Retail sales of marijuana, they might be doing growing. Ha hasn't no, the town they may already be doing growing and then hasn't the town already gone through the exercise of creating this overlay district so for the establishment of the uh, healthy farms? That was for right. medical marijuana. Correct, but it also was which has to be indoors. Correct. Absolutely. Correct. Recreational, from my understanding, does, does not, not to need indoors. to be indoors. So I can understand a mm -hmm. There, there would be valid points to... Yeah, and and also keep in mind there's such a thing as a farm stand. Yeah, but that's, yeah, I think that's, that's well, almost ludicrous, no Harry, to think that. that you could do it on a farm. How would you control something like that? A locked it's greenhouse. It's all open. A locked greenhouse. Well, how do you control pesticide use? I mean, it's... But this, this is, is a lot different. It's not close this enough. This is just an agricultural. you got to get closer. <laughs> I, I, I want to talk about the downtown aspect of it. So uh, <laughs> we had a developer here with the um, Dunkin' Donuts building. He has that uh, that unit in the back that uh, mm -hmm. is empty. That, to me, would be a perfect location for a recreational marijuana dispensary. Um, uh, some people would think that's too close to the school. Unit in the back? That's well, how some people what? were responding. All I can say is thank God for town meeting so that we can modify this map from the floor. That's, yeah, that's what right. well, I have, cracks I, me up, that people are going to be worried about these little it is never gonna happen. zoning amendments when can we're we talking about another subject, please? recreational Chairman. marijuana. Um, another subject from this subject of the marijuana? Uh, no, recreation? no, another I subject. I suspect it. Period. Um, so, uh, that, so what we've done in that discussion, I just want to wrap it up, is, is you guys now have a sense of what the schedule is for where this is going and what we're trying to do. I'm just okay. curious about the downtown aspect of it. Are, yeah. are we being directed to do that by the selectmen, or is that their proposal, or is that no, what that's the what, planning board that's, has come that's up with? What, that's what they, that the selectmen want. That's why the selectmen, and it's just, um, it's just about getting together to talk about the concerns. So no, let's find no, out no, where no, we no, all no, are. That, that's what it's like. And they represent, and they, represent the, they represent the town. So you have to, the, that, it, it, it makes I, sense I to me. I appreciate that. So, so do we. We do, but, but in a different way. <laughs> oh, okay. In a different way. Okay. Um, but, but the proposed bylaw that's going to limit the, the downtown area, that's the language it's going to be coming from, the selection. Okay, that's all I'm trying to understand. And this board would recommend or not recommend that? Yeah, correct. Okay. Correct. So okay. Let's all find out where so, what's coming. So, so Tilly uh, would like to go to <laughs> another subject. Yeah, please. When is that meeting? Have I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, you love it. You love it. Uh, no, the, with the selectmen, it has to be before the uh, next uh, week. Is that meeting? The week after. It's gonna. <laughs> John's gonna try to schedule it. With, um, <laughs> that's a great question. Not, not the twentieth. Right? Their next meeting. I, right. Because we meet on the twenty eighth and um, the twenty eighth of March and. You know, we'll be dealing with, um, in all likelihood, uh, 34 East Main 
in the uh, park. Yeah, we're not having we're not dealing with this on the twenty eighth. There's going to be too much stuff there. That's for sure. So is this, this another board, meeting that we're we going to, to have? We need with, to join the selectmen at probably their meeting, or we call a special meeting. Yeah, yeah. And we'll and we'll work on that because I, I have to so get that's this draft done. To get that date. Get settled. it to Eichmann and um, you know have him finish editing it and get it you, get it you, to them. You the you could selectmen. start talking with the selectmen now to sort of um, just you know put a put a whole grab a date and just kind of get yeah, some dates out there. You know get that going yeah, yeah I'll, work, I'll work with them we already had this <laughs> in the works yeah and yeah. and then everything went to the wayside for whatever reason yeah, yeah. But, I, uh, I, I, I think okay. we, we're so, doing a great job okay we're, we're gonna get there don't worry yeah all right mm. <laughs> okay at a deadline so <laughs> so that, that those are good that's that. deadlines, yeah, are, good. deadlines, deadlines are, good. are very good Chili, what, what were you well i witnessed the selectmen's meeting and i thought uh, the planning board ought to be involved and I hope you would support what, I, With what, what I'm thinking about. Last selectman meeting, I didn't watch there it. was a presentation brought to them uh, concerning privatizing our water department. And I thought it was a very good, good stand that the, that the uh, company gave to the selectmen. And I think that uh, there was a lot of discussion among them. And it's basically just an informational meeting. But when I heard it, I don't know what the issues all are, as a lot of us aren't, because it's never on cable. We don't see the minutes. We don't see anything that's going on down there, except when they want money. <laughs> they come to the town meeting and they need, need something, and then we'll hear about it. So I would like, the proposal sounded really excellent, and other communities have hired this company. And, in, and I think that we should support an endeavor like this to make sure our water is good, that it's, the quality is good, that we have enough of it, and where the problems are and what down the line we have to address. I mean, we're, especially economic development and, and the residents that we're, did, are going to come. Did, did, did this have anything to do with the um, water department and light department becoming one? Yeah, that's the only thing. I think, no, not at this meeting, but they, they did mention that there had been some talk about it. But I so have I'm no confused. idea what it. It's so only. This is a little private. It's not of going to be. This is a different um, way of doing the water. Not this. Is this, oh, is this, this a for-profit company? This that would was, be running the water department. Yeah, it sounded that way. Those employees would be interacting with this company, and um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to cost us more because they in turn will find areas that, that probably could save us money that was their sales oh, okay opportunity so but it words, just seems that yeah it sounded really good to me what i heard yeah, and I, I think that i picked up a few things that i didn't know that they have about they still don't have a manager and they've had a, they've gone through three of them so there's our water department without a manager uh, who, who knows what i know we're in the DEP were on a enforcement of some kind with the DEP with our water. So there are some issues that I only know bits and pieces of. And I thought with, with a privatized water, that might be the right direction. Yeah. What, what immediately comes up for me is the potential, I mean, on the surface, everything is always about cost savings, but what do you give up for the so-called cost savings? Um, and you know, uh, the, the the disconnect between Georgetown and Georgetown Electric. Um, it I would want to avoid the same scenario happening again. Um, if if that that's my take on it. Um, so I don't know what privatizing means, but I I wasn't aware they had that meeting and and. Yeah, um, you can um, watch it again on it, the cable. I'd, I'd have to watch it, but I'm, I'm wondering: is it is it a matter that they're talking about? Um, it would be a consultant that would would manage the water. Perhaps that you could call them a consultant, the but they would do yeah. the managing. Yeah, and that's in place of. That's in place. You, you, no, how can we so water department? I, I'll just give you a real good example. How can we pay that person, but not? I'll, I'll give you a really good own? example in Southern New Hampshire, Panachuk. Yeah. is a privately held company. Yeah. Um, he mentioned Salem. Yeah, now, but I didn't know it was New Hampshire. 
Nashua um, spent a whole decade uh, trying to acquire ownership of the water infrastructure and to manage on their own the infrastructure of water delivery, the water delivery system in Nashua, and they yeah. they finally won that case, and it was a huge case. It so they were going the other direction. Hundreds of millions of dollars involved with it. Mm -hmm. it right. Now, they were replicating what the town of Hudson, my former employer, um, already had in place. They hired Penichuk, who's a good water distribution manager, infrastructure manager of the municipality. So they were hired to manage the day-to-day -day operations, and they still are, mm -hmm. um, of the water department. Um, Hudson owns all of the water distribution infrastructure, and they farm out the day-to-day -day management of it to manage Administrative tasks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. And to me, that was that's a good idea. Yeah, that's um, what it, because do, do, you help you hold them accountable. They're under contract, um, you know. And you and if are, you have a good utility committee, um, a board a utility board um, overseeing the management of um, mm -hmm. the company. That, so are the that, wrench that, turners that, that, that over that board mm -hmm. that you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. that, this is my first reaction to that is there are we don't have enough people to do the boards we currently have. Yeah, but now if. Say for instance, you have um, a wa you have a um, town engineer, or a person that you have. Say Larry is the town's consulting engineer. Mm -hmm. um, you know that person could be um, assigned the task of overseeing, with a small body of board members overseeing um, the management, the contracted management of the uh, town's water system. Is the reason they're proposing this because the current system basically they isn't working that for some reason? Is like it? I said, we don't. Uh, I didn't get I mean, that anything from the meeting, so I don't know. I think when I heard three free managers walked away from the job, we were here for like a couple of months and then said, yeah. see ya. There, there's there a is reason. something going on, and right. I don't know there, what there's it is. There's a need for, I'm just I'm speculating, <laughs> there, there's an apparent need for uh, new management, under yeah. new management. Yeah. Under new personnel, yeah, you know, and Is, um, would there, are the wrench turners the actual fellows who are doing the physical work? Is the idea that they will no longer be town employees? That they're going to then work for a management group? That that's something. Uh, that's a political decision. I don't know yeah. where any of that part of it's going, but you know, because there's a union there, I believe, in the water department. So I'm sure there would be something. So they would have to in, negotiate in, in any in any event now. Now, yeah. just to keep on dialing the channel here, Hudson is now trying to, they're entertaining the possibility of hiring their own personnel right. to create their own. <coughs> the, the irony here yeah. is that we have a, a physical operation here that costs us X to deliver the water. Yeah. And now we're going to hire out to bring in a company that'll have bureaucracy that works for a profit and somehow we're going to not have to pay more? Where is the profit coming in for because that company? I'm they not, implied I'm that they could save, they, it's pensions. possible. But oh. keep in mind that they, they, they probably the first step would be to evaluate what we have yeah, existing. It's, 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 and so, and follow the process that they, they're a well-established company, so I'm sure they have they have some uh, uh, knowledge of where it should be and where it, where they hope to get it at. Their it sounds goal. like it's, it's a way so to get rid of the employees. What I do know, all I know is that there's insurance. a lot of complaints. Health insurance, yep, yep. So so it's, 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 this is the race to the bottom, yep. and yep. and we're facilitating it. My, my my concern is if when you look at the, uh, granted it's electric, not uh, not water, but mm -hmm. um, when you look at towns that have uh, National Grid, NSTAR, et cetera, uh, and there's a major power outage, like uh, an event that we had just a few days ago, versus a municipal light department like we have. And I know that there's been some problems. Yeah, with no, the, but I agree with but, what you're going to say. Um, when it's a muni, it, it, if my lights are out, so is his mother's, so is the lineman's mother, so is the lineman, uh, and they, they get it fixed. Um, and Star will ship somebody from Cincinnati, maybe, maybe. Next week. Uh, next week. I agree. 
Um, and so I, I'm concerned when we talk about those utilities that are, are I mean, they're not <laughs> something that we can Go Wait fix it. It isn't it, broken. Exactly. It isn't broken. It is broken because isn't broken. you don't like, you don't get complaints. I th I, th I think from your neighbors. I think you what don't. is I think what I would say is broken is is what Tilly said is and I think it is correct. <coughs> There's been a number of managers who have just come and gone, and that kind of turnover so quickly is not good. That's broken. Just that in and of itself. Now, I'm not saying the whole system is, but yeah. that hires. Yeah. Yeah. One of the reasons that you get complaints. What, were the, what was the reason of the, for their departures? I mean, it may be yeah. that they just got a better offer, <laughs> or yeah, really you good know, offer. Well, <laughs> the, and, and the thing is, we waited mm -hmm. for years mm -hmm. to replace those tanks, mm -hmm. and they're finally replacing them. That's going to change the water in the eastern part of this town. Completely. You also have to keep in mind that we are sucking the Parker River dry. That's right. what okay. we are, and that's where the no management are company, from. no new style of management or new management company is going to be able to change the fact that we're sucking the Parker River dry, and we're going to get more and more mineralized water as we draw. Uh, what's going to end up happening is you're going to need to get a new manager in there that has the vision to do the tanks like the last one did, mm -hmm. and to, and no one's going to want to hear it, but you're going to need a major treatment plant to take all the water that you're sucking out from the Parker River and treat before you distribute. And it's going to be a lot cheaper to do that in-house than it would be to do yeah, that. Yeah, but we're so being is, penalized. So rather than have the profit motive driven so what, by the consultant. So, what, so, so, so to try to wrap this up, though, I think what <laughs> Tilly's done is brought it to our attention. That Excellent. this was in front of that this was yeah, in front of the selectmen, right. and yeah. I, right. I think it's it behooves us to then, if we're interested, to look into what when the selectmen are going to talk about this again and and, and intent, if, if that's if yeah. so be. I think th I think that would be something well worthwhile. The other thing is to is to ask the selectmen if they could kindly keep us abreast of what's going on with that. Because everybody, I, I know I don't want to be going to another meeting if I don't have to. Yeah. And it, maybe the selectmen could simply that would be give us a memo as to what's going on. Yeah. We, I mean, obviously, and I've been doing this for a long time. When there's a, when there is a supposed problem. Right, and it's re, re, reoccurring. You know, you, you're going through managers. You, you have to have a professional objective assessment done yeah. of the operation to, to find out what the problems are okay. and how to address them. And you know, and that's how you take action on something like this. If the town's worried about you know going through managers, why are they leaving? Are they doing? Uh, interviews on uh, outgoing interviews you know w let's get to the bottom of it let's figure out what needs to be corrected in the system okay. so that we have a well-run water department and managers are sticking around managers are doing the job they're supposed to be doing and the personnel that's working is supposed to, are doing what they're supposed to be doing you know if the system's broken is it? things are broken you got to fix it otherwise you just keep on chasing your tail, never getting to the bottom of it, and never, never correcting the problems. And it affects everybody. Would it, would it, <laughs> would it be, would it be uh, reasonable to, to, for you to check in if the board agreed to check in with, with the selectmen and just ask them if they could keep us abreast of what's going on there? Yeah. And, 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 and the importance of what I'm talking about with these examples, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing perfect. There's no system course, perfect. There's uh, no perfect managed operation Together. going on but you can get closer to it if yeah. there is a problem if you study it and figure out what right. the problems are and then you hire the right people yeah, but you know if you got to find out what the issues are um, and then you pay and, them now the, yeah but the, you know the funny thing is um, you know this town's looking to privatize well Hudson's looking so not the other to, way yeah. and <laughs> You know, well, and whatever you do, don't right ever <laughs> don't ever sell your infrastructure because no. twenty years later you're going to want to buy it back because you're not getting the best deal that you could have gotten if you manage the it. thing yourself. It's yeah. just like living in a house. <laughs> if you maintain the house or a car, you maintain it. It, it maintains its value. Um, it's running right. Well, seven, are, Seventeen years ago, I remember getting told that we need another water well because of the population increase. And it's, we don't have it yet. 
So, you know, these things are slow moving, even if we had a plan. Yeah, but you know what? (laughs) And the thing is, action is of utmost importance. You can talk about things forever. Like in the Economic Development Committee meeting, we're all on board. We want to we want to make things happen and we're not waiting till next year or dra- dragging our feet it's a matter of getting things done while we're still here on earth mm-hmm. you know right it, you know it's not i just turned 70 i'm, I'm with you on that <laughs> you know, but you know everybody talks about traffic and, and they complain about it but i've been in towns where nothing's ever done in, in hudson new hampshire where i worked we got everything done you know, we put together a plan and made sure that plan was carried out. And you have new traffic lights. Did what a, 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 a plan? Yeah. Yeah. A plan? Yeah. Oh, I, uh, well, I've had pe- I've had like a I've had people say we we don't need another plan. Well, if you know, if you don't have a plan, you can't go anywhere. I don't mind plans. Circles. What I what I don't like is plans that well we'll we'll, we'll, we'll update the plan in five years and maybe three people will look at it between now and then and then three people will look at the next plan and yeah. Well, my, the first well, you have to have ex- ex- execution plans. strategy. My, actually, I mean, I, I, the, the plan first, has to do something. The plan my, has to my first position, the first position I was in, and I'll leave the town out of it, they're still talking, you know, 30 years later about putting traffic lights in and, and building a bridge and all this. 30 years later, and they're no closer than they were. Th- because nobody takes care of what needs to get done and get it done. Nobody picks up the ball and runs to the end zone with it. The, the they cha- look at the ball. The, the challenge today, the challenge today is that the, the world is very complicated, complex. The, the the idea of volunteer boards is really hard on volunteers to do what you're talking about, yeah. and so then it becomes down to the paid. Uh, employees and it comes down to the form of town government and you know I just I, I will always go back to that issue you know you talk about plans there's seven of them out there for town government the last one was very clear about what this town does and I've said it before and I'll say it again until that one is implemented we're gonna be spinning like this till we die Oh. That was written by the Department of Revenue. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> That's all it was written by. Correct. <laughs> just how to square up some financial accounting Correct. problems. Correct, and they hit it right on the nose. They were so smart. Well, you I... know when it came out, it was Chesterton's. Huh? It was Chesterton's. There was a mistake made. They forgot to eliminate it. It was Chesterton's. Well, I don't know about that, but I know their conclusion was right the on the money. When it came well, uh, thank you for... Uh, See if John can get some information about it. So yeah, the more we can get, it would be the better. Yeah, and the definitely if it, if we so feel inclined, we should support we should. the selectmen doing yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. How do we make you know, plans? It, it, yeah, if we but don't on, have water. on all that note, good water. What I observe, there's a lot of great work going on in throughout this town. Oh yeah. You know, so oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. there are a lot of hard workers and getting Absolutely. things done, and that's the Absolutely. whole idea: get things done. You know, well, don't just sit there. And that, in the in that DOR report, um, specifically mentions that Georgetown succeeds because of those people, in yeah. spite of the form of government. That's right, because there's that's enough people says. that want to agree. Everything works. hands on, yeah. get the hands right. dirty, no, get it done. Not. Everything does not yeah. work. What's that? No, it's not what it said. Yeah, but the, the, you read a different report. It works with a startle. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, there's a lot of good work. Yeah. Volunteer boards, wow. workers. You know, so the, it, it's not a, it's not, a, it's not a disaster. It's not malfunctioning. It just needs to be tuned up. Yeah. Tuned up and I'll go with that. Yeah. Need a tune up. <laughs> Reveille so, called and uh, Mr. Chairman. Anything else? What he said. <laughs> Motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion's been made. Second to do adjourn. All in Thank favor? You. Aye. 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 Thank you. My honor.